Now that we know the basics of getting sound up on the duality, let's take a look at maybe getting a mic onto the duality and recording that into Pro Tools. So a brief explanation, right now I just have a guitar DI signal going from my Pro Tools out into the tie line through a reamp box into a guitar amp. And that guitar amp is being mic'd by a 121. So let's get this 121 onto the board and through Pro Tools and get recording. So since we're working with a mic and Pro Tools, we want this SSL duality to be in analog mode. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, this focus mode button controls the SSL. And if it's lit up blue, that's an analog focus mode. And if it's not lit up at all, then it's in Pro Tools control surface mode. So for this instance, we want this blue since we want to record analog signals and hear analog signals from Pro Tools. So the way people are going to be most used to recording is through an inline workflow. In order to achieve this on the SSL, I have to go into my select mode, again, which is plus and minus. And now you see channel 24 is selected by default. Uh, and I want it to come up on channel 24, otherwise I'm going to select another channel and do this to another channel, but let's do this to 24. And in order for me to go into an inline mode recording, I want to make sure this is first on mic and not line. It does matter that this is on mic for some reason. And I'm going to make sure since it's on mic that this channel output is either set to input or prefade. What this does is input takes the output going to Pro Tools straight from the preamp, no processing, and prefade is after processing on the channel. So let's just keep it on input for now and keep my processing on the monitor path. You can see that the channel output, which is going to Pro Tools, is at the input instead of after all the processing, which would be prefade. So let's keep this on input and make sure it's on either input or prefade, otherwise this next step is not going to work. So the next step is to counterintuitively hit this split button. And what this does is it changes this to an inline mode for the selected channels. You can see that on the right side is my channel path, on the left side is my monitor path. Great, now let's get some sound going. So this patch I already have set up to get sound from Pro Tools out into my guitar amp. And my guitar amp is plugged into Tyline 14 here, which I'm gonna plug into. And then I'm gonna plug into the channel in, the SSL duality channel in. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, right there. 24. Great. And if I need to turn on phantom power for my microphone, which I don't in this case because it's a ribbon mic, I just select the channel and then I hit that plus 48 on the input. So now that my mic is plugged into channel 24, I can now record into Pro Tools. So what I'm gonna do is I already have this amp channel set up in Pro Tools. In is 24, out is 24, that's an inline workflow. And I'm gonna input monitor it. And without even turning up my preamp, I can see that there's signal going into Pro Tools, which is good. Maybe I'll give it a little more, turn up the preamp here. And the thing to note here is that there is no small fader for the channel path. However, there is a channel trim knob here. So that trims the level going to, pre, uh, going to Pro Tools. So now that I have signal coming into Pro Tools, let's make sure I have signal going out. This fader right here is gonna be my monitor path. And in order to monitor this, again, I turn up the fader. And then I have this highlighted here. Again, that's plus and minus. Make sure it's on the right track, which it is. Hit mix A. And since my mix A fader is up, I am now hearing the signal from the amp. So in order for me to control the fader for mix A, I'm gonna look at this routing matrix here and hold down the button that corresponds to mix A, that column right there, and then press the button for fader. You see that lights up, my fader's down. I'm gonna turn this up. And now mix A should theoretically be up. I'm gonna monitor mix A or stereo mix um, let's keep it on mix A for now. And since this is assigned to mix A, and we're monitoring mix A, whatever, whenever I record this, there we go, we can monitor Pro Tools.
So that's basically the gist of recording a mic into the SSL. Um, do this for as many channels as you'd like for an inline workflow. If you want to go more in depth in the inline workflow, there will be a separate video for that as well as a video for a side-by-side -side workflow, what we normally call split. But since there's that split button on the SSL, I don't want to confuse anyone. So we'll call that side-by-side -side where one side's the channel path, the other side's the monitor path. So be on the lookout for those and hope you got a lot of value out of this. Thanks for watching.